Hi, my name is Brett Monk, and I am a movie director, a former church planting pastor, and a homeschooling dad of a teenage daughter. About four years ago, now at this recording, my wife and I were in our mid-50s. We were sitting in our usual chair in our church here in Northern Virginia, and we had never had children, didn't expect that was that being parents was going to be part of our lives at that point. And completely out of the blue, a lady did a presentation on adopting older children from the foster care system, uh, teenage adoption. And we sat there and listened to her presentation. And to be honest, we appreciated it, but just kind of let it go in one ear and out the other. And then at the end, she got to a point where she said, so I just want you to take a minute and quiet your heart and seek God and just ask yourself, do you have an empty bedroom in your house? And I was sitting there thinking, yes, I have an empty bedroom in my house. Thank you for asking. And then she said, do you have room in your heart to invite someone into your home that would become your own child? And when the lady said that, it was just as if um, it felt like the room got completely dark and there was a spotlight shining right on me and I missed the entire rest of the pastor sermon. I have no idea what he said. I couldn't even turn and look at my wife. I just felt frozen. And after the service, my wife and I, um, walked out to the car without saying a word. She closed the door and said to me, are you going to say it or am I? And I said, we're going to do this. And after about a year and a half of working with the agencies and taking the training and everything, uh, God matched us with our daughter who was 13 at the time. And she has become the joy of our lives and, um, is just the most incredible blessing that um, I can ever imagine having the honor of having in my life. And um, because she was coming from the foster care system, we were required to have her in the public schools for the time that she was still technically a ward of the state. But during that time, and with all credit to the individuals working in the school system, the teachers, the counselors, everyone there was doing their best to take care of our child, but the system just was not designed for her unique situation. And so uh, we made the decision to homeschool her, which wasn't a hard decision because I've just been, and even when we were pastoring, um, been so impressed with our close friends that we had had that were from the homeschooling background. So now, as a filmmaker, and my wife is a real estate agent, so both of us are self-employed, our daughter not only is working with the homeschool curricula that, uh, that we're using for her, but in addition to that, going out and making these movies with me and going to open houses and different kinds of experiences with my wife, both of those are part of my daughter's vocational education. And we're just really thankful and really excited for the way that God has just miraculously crafted our family and the life of our family.